OK, let's uh, return our attention to Scotland because it's been a tough old week for many Scotland fans, but it ain't over yet. They take on Switzerland tonight. Let's head to Cologne and join uh, everyone's favourite Scottish uh, comedian, Ray Bradshaw. <laughs> Ray, oh, mate, I've been looking forward to seeing you, pal. H how's it going? Oh, the smugness in your voice he is <laughs> unreal right now. Unreal. Um, everything's been great here, apart from between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Friday night. Like, everything's been great, but oh, what a, how bad were we, man? We're, we've been the worst turn team in the tournament so far, I think, definitely. It, it just to me, I mean, I'm a, joking aside, I really, I really, really, really genuinely want Scotland to qualify. And I, I, I thought that before the game, when the national anthems are going on, and I was just. It, I, I had it sort of um, tingles because it was the, the atmosphere, the amount of Scottish fans that crammed into the stadium. It was incredible to see. And, and uh, the team just didn't, uh, didn't turn up after that, which was a real, real shame. No, I don't think I've ever celebrated a goal as much as when their fifth goal got disallowed. <laughs> and that sums it up as a game. There's a beautiful moment, maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes into the game, Tony Ralston passed the ball back to Ryan Porteous and Porteous just played the ball straight out for a goal kick. And the German guy behind me tapped me on the shoulder and he was like, you beat Spain. And I was like, yeah. Like, you would not have known that in the slightest from the team that turned up. But it's a different game tonight. Um, last time we played Switzerland uh, in a competitive kind of game like this was Euro 96 and Super Ali scored a winner. So yeah. hoping for that. And, but in saying that, we didn't have a shot on target the other night. So... Hopefully, we can go one better tonight. Yeah, I like the positivity anyway. Um, what, what do you think it was? Because it kind of felt like watching it, you know, things sort of went, went from bad to worse. But we were listening to Andy Robertson this morning. He was, was kind of saying that they just let the fear take over a little bit against Germany. Um, did you feel like the occasion just sort of got to them? Obviously, it was the opening game of the tournament. They were playing the hosts in Germany as well. Yeah, I think so. It felt a bit like a soccer aid game, didn't it? <laughs> like that kind of vibe. They were... So quick out the mark. Like, do you know, right, I support Partick Thistle and I'm used to backs against the wall games. And sometimes you look at your watch and you can have a look to say, right, if we can hold out till half time, then maybe we can go it. I looked at my watch to see if we could hold out till half time and we played a one minute 40 of the game. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this isn't a good sign. Because like Pete, you were saying like the first two minutes, they were all over us and they should have scored within a minute. And I don't know whether it was occasion, but... John McGinn, couldn't, John McGinn couldn't control the ball, Scott McTominay. I think the first time we controlled the ball, like Lauren Shanklin came on and brought the ball down and passed it out. And the fact I remember that shows how bad everyone else will. But that goal that we scored, well, uh, Mick Rudiger scored for us, the celebration, all the German fans were celebrating with us. That's how bad and patronising uh, they could be because <laughs> it had been so woeful. But we were celebrating touches in the box. Like we two the whole game, it was... Just, I've never seen anything like it, but we have to go again tonight because most of us have remortgaged our houses to be out here. <laughs> but you know what? It's so important that the positivity that you guys created remains. Because I'll, I'll give you an example, Ray, right? Last, last, I was on on Friday, as you know, and we asked, uh, we did a, a shout out for Scotland fans to get in touch. What are you up to? And I'm not joking, thousands of Scotland fans, like kids in there eating their breakfast in the, you know, in the Tartan Army shirts and people sending their pictures holding their flags, their dogs dressed up, their babies dressed up, everything. This morning, we've yeah. done the same. What are you up with Scotland fans? And it's been, a, the reaction has been minimal. minimal. <laughs> and I just feel like, I hope the whole nation isn't just like giving up because there's two games to go and it, all you've got to do is find that form that you had in qualifying and you, you've got every opportunity. What words of positivity can you give to the people of Scotland to try and pick them up this morning? Because it, it feels like the, the, the negativity is already set in. Yeah, I think there's already chat if we lose this and there's pressure on the manager and all that kind of stuff, which seems surreal from a year ago. But I don't think we can play any worse, which is a positive, surely. But then also, if you can get guys like John McGinn, Scott McTominay to click, I think Billy Gilmore will come back in. We're going to miss, we really miss whoever's on right wing back, whether it's Hickey or Patterson, because um, Ralston and McCrory is a drop-off. There's no denying that. Uh, I just think we need to come back and do it. And I think you're definitely going to see that swell coming back again. If we get a result today, then Sunday becomes a huge party day because we could qualify for the first time ever out of group stage, which is a mad sentence in itself. But we're getting there. And what I have said, I've been in Germany since... Uh, I feel like I've been here forever. I feel like all I've eaten is dough 
and beer. That feels like it's all it's been the whole time. Um, I've seen, no matter where I've been, I was in Mannheim, I've been in Heidelberg, I went back to Munich yesterday to film something. Scotland fans are everywhere, like everywhere. And we're not giving up on it. I spoke to a guy yesterday who's camping for 12 days in Munich, get, then getting night trains to games. People made huge sacrifices to get here. And the German police put out a statement saying how good the Tartan army have been and how we drank, we pretty much drank Munich Square dry the other day. So <laughs> everyone's still in that thing. I think the main reason you might not be getting messages this morning is, like myself, no one's getting up before 10 or 11 over here because <laughs> every night is a night out. Every night is a night out. And so it's just kind of wait and see how you go. But my son, who's four, slept in his John McGinn t-shirt the other day. Oh, so okay. I think it's still there. We just kind of need to get a win tonight and go from there. Yeah, uh, that is very cute, isn't it? Um, I mean, you say about getting a win tonight. Um, did you watch Switzerland's opening game? And, and what did you make of them? I, I mean, first half, they were very good, I think. Yeah, um, it was funny. Like, we went to a beer garden to watch it because it's Germany. And then the first, like, 15 minutes, we're like, I think we could do all right. And then they scored. I'm like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> and then by half time, the narration was, we can beat Hungary. And that's <laughs> the way it went. So we'll watch Germany against Hungary tonight. There's a there's a bagpipe march tonight. So uh, Scotland fans are the only ones that have got permission to kind of march the stadium. So there's a bagpipe thing happening. So I think someone was saying we can watch it on our phones as we walk up. Um, but yeah, it's going to be... I think, I don't know, Switzerland, they seem like Jack has been playing for years. They're they're in tournaments all the time, so we just don't know. I think I think we could get something, but I thought we could get something off Germany. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm, <laughs> we need to get something because today is my wife's birthday and I'm in Germany. So happy birthday, Hayley. But we need to get uh, something, otherwise I'm sleeping in the garage for the next four weeks. Yeah, happy birthday, Hayley, from us as well. Um, yeah, fair play that you, you are staying out there, mate. And it, look... Uh, do, do you feel like, I mean, I think against Germany, we spoke on the Friday, it was like, oh, look, if you can get a point and get a draw, I wonder whether that was where Scotland went wrong, really. They went out there, they tried to hope for a point and then ended up being, being battered. Whereas now, do they just need, would you like to see them just go out on the front foot, throw caution to the wind and just try and get a win? Is, is that what you'd like to see tonight, a positive performance? Totally. I'd like to see 18 completed passes. I'd like to see a shot on target. Like, the thing is, what Scotland have done very cleverly is the benchmark is so low after the first game. But I said to you, uh, Pete, the other day when we were chatting, like, it, the Germany game wasn't the big game. Like, if we got something out of that, it was a miracle. But tonight, even if we get a point tonight, and then that puts all the emphasis on Hungary, if we can beat Hungary, four points will qualify us probably out of this group. And that's something that has never happened. So it's always kind of been about these two games. The other one's a bonus. It's just whether we can actually do it. I was really optimistic, but I think lots of Scotland fans, and you touched on it, Emma, earlier, like the minute that game finished, optimism has dropped a little bit. But we can't be any worse, can we? And if we are, <laughs> then geez, oh man, I don't think I can take it anymore. <laughs> um, with that in mind then, just lastly, Ray, what is your sort of realistic prediction for tonight? Yep, 8-0 um, Scotland. So <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Uh, no, it was funny, as I, as I walked into the stadium the other day, there was a Scotland fan chatting to a German fan and he was like, the German fan said, what's your prediction? And he said, it was beautiful. He went, my head says 2-0 Germany. My heart says a lot worse. Oh. And that kind of sums up our mentality. Like, we think we might lose badly, but you never know. But yeah, I think I think we might do it today. But um, please, if I'm back on a Sunday. So if I do this again, uh, don't clip it if we lose badly. So I don't yeah. want to see that. You've just told you've basically the guys are doing it as we speak, mate. So uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, Ray, great to see you. Happy birthday to Mrs. B as well. I hope that uh, you're calling her full of joy later on tonight after a, a Scotland win. All the best. Yeah, we've been married six years. She doesn't answer my calls anymore. But yeah. <laughs>